Channel 17 received an early Christmas gift this year. It's building on Barton Street, donated by Taft Broadcasting. Ray Rajewski, manager of Channel 2, the Taft station in Buffalo, presented the title to the land and building to Sue Wardinsky, chairman of the board of trustees of WNED-TV, and Mike Collins, Channel 17 president and general manager. And certainly on behalf of all the people of Western New York and Southern Ontario, we thank you very, very much for your generosity. Yeah, it's going to make it a whole lot easier, I guess, living there, knowing that, uh, <laughs> that, it's, that it's ours, right? And uh, I think Taft has been involved with, for many years with Channel 17. Channel 2 certainly has even longer than that. Um, first with our uh, use of property on top of the Hotel Lafayette and uh, then our move over to Barton Street and uh, we've almost followed uh, Channel 2 okay. wherever Channel 2 has been and, uh, and we hope that one day that we'll no, follow you into this building. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll keep this going for a while. But uh, seriously, no, it, it's, it's just great and we appreciate it. We've been there for uh, 10 years through your good offices and it's much appreciated that uh, Taft is now turning over the building. This is the third home for public broadcasting in Buffalo. The station signed on March 30, 1959 from this building off Elmwood Avenue, made available to public television by WGR-TV. For a nine-week experimental period using mismatched, borrowed equipment, the station broadcast just a few hours a day. But it was a beginning and public television in New York State was born here in Buffalo with his station. In the fall of 1959, Channel 17 moved into quarters atop the Hotel Lafayette, and there were opportunities for some unusual programming. But it was here that the station began to take shape, direction. In-school programming grew from three and a half hours a week to 21 hours a week. Total programming grew from 18 hours to 50 hours per week before 1959 ended. While at the Lafayette, the first cross-credited college courses were broadcast. The station became a charter member of the Eastern Educational Network. Out of the tiny studio came weekly training courses for police and firefighters. Local companies began underwriting programs in 1961. Growth was steady. By 1963, instructional television services were reaching 60,000 Western New York students. By the end of the decade, WNED-TV presented 72 hours a week of cultural and public affairs programming. In 1971, the station broadcast over 4,000 hours of instructional, public service, and entertainment programs. That year, Sesame Street was must-viewing for 60,000 people a day. Some people have grown up watching Channel 17. In the spring of 1973, it was time to move again. Taft Broadcasting leased the Barton Street building to Channel 17 for a dollar a year when WGR-TV moved to its new building on Delaware Avenue. In 1974, the station went all color. Acquisition of new equipment continued, reaching state-of-the-art with the station able to tap program sources from a tiny satellite 24,500 miles in space. In the 70s, the station began providing programs for national broadcast over the entire PBS network. In 1976, WEBR News Radio joined the operation, the nation's first public news and information station. That same year, the classical station WNED-FM joined the broadcast family. Channel 17's audience grew with the station. Now about 425,000 families watch the station at least once each week, including a quarter million Canadian viewers. Among the constants for Channel 17 through its 23-year history have been local and regional support, the guidance of its board of trustees, and always the volunteers. Now, for the first time in its history, Channel 17 can settle into a permanent home. When you own a building, you tend to look at it a little bit differently, and I think we'll make a thorough review of perhaps the longer range things that might need uh, doing, uh, things that are out of the area of just normal maintenance, and uh, perhaps be able to uh, 
take on some of those things knowing that it's going to add to the improvement of the piece of property that uh, that we own. We have had the building for a number of years but all of a sudden it is ours and this is something that we look forward to and we're most grateful to Taft Broadcasting for having done this for the people of Western New York and Southern Ontario.